Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and today I've got a classic chocolate chip cookie recipe for you guys. Alright, so we're going to start with our ingredients and we've got some Irish Kerrygold butter, which is my favorite. And we've got some salt and baking soda. And we've got some organic vanilla. And two eggs. These are medium sized eggs, but you can use one large egg. And then I've got this organic dark chocolate chips here. And I'm going to see if I can find a link on Amazon for you guys. And then we've got our sugar. The recipe actually calls for 3 fourths cup of white sugar and brown sugar, but I just have this sugar today. And then of course we've got our flour. And if you didn't see my story on YouTube the other day, I had discovered that my glass mixing bowl had a huge crack up the side. So I ordered this new one from KitchenAid.com and it came with a lid and I really like it. Alright, so we're going to pop it on here for the first time and it fits well. And we've got our attachments here. And we're going to start with our one cup of Kerrygold butter. You can use whichever butter that you prefer. And if you're taking it directly from the fridge and it's still hard and cold, then I would cut it into half inch cubes. But I've let mine sit out for about 20 minutes and it's soft enough. And then we're just going to beat that for a few rotations here before we add our sugar. And normally for a recipe like this, you would use 3 fourths cup of white sugar and 3 fourths cup of brown sugar. But I've got this like natural cane sugar here and I'm just going to use a cup and a half total. And just so there's no confusion, I just wanted to clarify that I am using a fourth cup measure right here because it's what fits in my sugar jar. Alright, so we're going to beat that together. And then we are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla and our two medium sized eggs or you can use one large egg. And then next we've got a half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. And next is our all-purpose flour. We're going to be adding two and a half cups, but one cup at a time. All right, our batter is ready. It is the perfect consistency and it is ready for our chocolate chips. We're going to be adding one cup of our organic chocolate chips here and we're gonna make sure to mix this in by hand because if we use our machine, the batter does get a little bit warm from all the mixing we just did and it can melt the chocolate chips and we don't want them melting until they are in the oven. Doesn't that look so yummy? It's hard to not take a bite right now. All right, so we're gonna put this in the fridge for about a half hour just to let the batter cool off. And then I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I actually ended up leaving my cookie dough in the fridge overnight, but it's still good. And we're gonna get our parchment paper here and line our pan and get these things baking. And you guys can of course just put your cookie dough right onto your cookie sheet or your pan but I like to use parchment paper because it helps things to just slide right off. And since I'm using a pizza pan, I am going to cut my parchment paper into a circle. All right, and now we're going to get our cookie dough onto our pan. I like to use one of these ball scoopers because they help to make the cookies all a uniform size. And then they have that little handle on them where you can squeeze the dough out just really easily. And sometimes these can be hard to find or you can only find like really big ones. Um, 
So I've got a link down below where you can buy one on Amazon. And when placing the cookie dough on the sheet, I like to leave about one to two inches between each ball and you can press them down if you like, but I don't bother. And so these are gonna go into the oven for eight to 10 minutes at 325 degrees. And here's what they look like when they're done. And then here's what they look like when they're cooled off. And I know how much you guys love to see the inside of what I bake, so here is the classic break open. Yummy. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe for classic chocolate chip cookies. And if you're totally bummed that these are not low carb, please stay tuned because I have got a low carb, keto friendly chocolate chip cookie recipe coming for you guys. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this recipe, please make sure to give it a like so it does well in the YouTube algorithm. And make sure to share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.